Oh yeah, that movie Girl Happy, the image you're looking at now from Harem Scarum, another actor who got to work twice with Elvis, a fellow Mississippian. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss America, Marianne Mobley. to see you. It makes my heart go pitter-patter. Or patter-pitter. And this one, you're looking good. Thank you. I'll, hey. I'll, I'll take your word for that. You're, you're a Miss America. You know what you're talking about. You don't age. Oh. Oh. It's those Tupelo boys. <laughs> and how are all of you? It's, we are, we are having cool, movie day with, with Elvis. We're talking movies, and everybody's excited for you and all of, all of our guests to be here to talk about Elvis the actor. It's an interesting part of his career, I think. You know, he was a great actor. I'm sorry that all of you, all of us, didn't get to see what a great actor he really could be. He had a wonderful talent, and I, I know you've all heard the story and stopped me. You know, you give me an opening and there I go. You go. You, you know, go. I was born with the mouth of the South. It just keeps going. <laughs> we, we did the best thing we can do for a Southern girl. We turned on the spotlight and gave her a microphone, so <laughs> go to it. <laughs> no, but you've probably heard this story, and I've certainly said it before, but, uh, uh, you know, Elvis was offered the role that Chris Christopherson did in a remake of A Star is Born with uh, Barbara Streisand. And uh, Barbara Streisand and the producer, John Peters, who was her friend, her boyfriend at the time, flew to Vegas to talk to Elvis. And I think Elvis wanted to do it, but it never worked out. And I was always very sad about that because I always felt that Elvis was a great actor. And uh, we never really got to see him do just serious acting without doing, you know, the musicals. Now, I gotta tell you, I look at that and I look at my hair. <laughs> now, there's a, you know, and, but you can't call that real acting. You know, we were just having fun. Your accent came out on my hair, too. <laughs> I noticed, too, in this movie, and I think I've talked to you about it before, a little Mississippi slips through every now and then when you get mad in the movie. Oh, you know, yes. the, the little Mississippi oh, yes. slips through. This is 1965 that you made this movie. You're Miss America. You went uh, hotty toddy. Yeah. She's a fellow Ole Miss rebel. Um, you, you became Miss America. You go to Hollywood. You start working. But you get cast in an Elvis movie. How did you, how did you come to be cast in an Elvis film? Well, everything with me is a long story. <laughs> but, but because there are other wonderful people, there are people back there wanting to come out, I'm going to try to keep it all short. No, Marianne, you're the last thing. We saved you to last. Uh -oh. Have you had dinner? Uh-oh. <laughs> Did you bring a sleeping bag? <laughs> well, after, after the Miss America pageant, where we had 11 blind judges. <laughs> no, you and I have talked about this before. I was short. I had the worst hairdo. It was, looked like Darth Vader. <laughs> and I didn't know how to wear makeup. And I really felt that there were, it was my, God was just looking out for me. And we had 11 blind judges, as I said. But I, um, I went to New York because I wanted to do musicals. And I didn't think I would be pretty enough. And I'm not, I'm not asking for compliments. I, that's just the way I felt to do movies. And I wanted to do musicals. And I was asked to come out to LA to do a remake of the musical 
um, Guys and Dolls, and I was asked to play Sarah Brown, the Salvation Army girl. And uh, I did, and it was with Hugh O'Brien and Betty Grable of the famous Legs. And, whoa, she was gorgeous. And uh, uh, two producers came to see Hugh O'Brien about a project. And they said, that funny looking girl playing Sarah Brown might be perfect for this Elvis movie we're doing. Because both of us being for Elvis, they saw publicity and uh, they came backstage and I thought, they're not, this is not real, this is not happening. But it was, and the next thing I knew, I was on the set with Elvis doing Girl Happy. And if you're gonna do your first movie, how great to do it with someone as kind as Elvis. Because I didn't know what they were talking about, you know. You know. So he was just incredibly kind to me. He was like a, a younger brother. And he took care of me. He said, where's Mary Ann's chair? And all of a sudden there were three chairs, not one, three that had Mary Ann Mobley written on the back of it. And he was just, he made my first experience that could have been brutal, very, very easy, very comforting, and he was always looking out for me.